Hey guys, and welcome back to Pro Speed Baseball. Today we have Big Poppy, David Ortiz, Hall of Fame bound, one of the best swings to play in the game. And what we're, we're going to do today is we're going to break down his swing, put it up against the Pro Speed hitting system, and I'm also going to share with you guys two very major keys that you need to apply to your own swings if you want to be consistent and powerful just like the big guy. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, so we're going to put David Ortiz up against the Pro Speed hitting system here. We're just going to run a quick breakdown of all the positioning that we go over in the Pro Speed system so that you can see that the system is actually a system and that you can have a swing as crazy as David Ortiz is here with a big old leg kick, lots of stuff going on, but he's still hitting all the major components. That's what's most important. We need to be hitting all the big pieces in the swing. So let's go ahead and break this down. We're going to go ahead and start with the setup here. Really ideal job with the setup. All kinds of setups we can go with, but he has a very good one to, to model if you're going to model one. Beautiful athletic stance, slight downward tilt of the shoulders, hands in front of the shoulders. Really good setup. Now let's go ahead and take him into the speed load and the pro stride here. We're going to go to the end of his load and stride, which is right when that front foot gets down. So let's go ahead and pause him right in here. So now we're at the end of his load, and we can see right here, Perfect speed load positioning, hands behind the shoulder, about that shoulder height where we want it. That's where we're going to be able to throw that powerful punch in our swing. And then we see landed with a nice open foot, giving those hips room to fire in the swing. Now we have a great view of here of uh, David taking batting practice. This is a pretty rare view to get, but we can check his vertical toe line. This is a huge piece here for the uh, for the load uh, in the speed load section of, our, of the hitting system. You can see we talk about in all pro speed baseball keeping the hands in front of the vertical toe line this is something that he does extraordinarily well you can see those hands don't even want to come close to that vertical toe line that's something he's done so well in his career why he's been able to hit for such a long period of time with consistency and while we're here in the down the line view we'll go ahead and skip into the next piece which is the transition where we get into a nice bat lag position a little bit of a blurry view here but we can definitely see this bat lagging behind the hands in the transition here beautiful bat lag position that he releases very very nicely in through the ball now we'll hop right back over here to this face on view into the bat lag position beautiful angle got has that barrel nice and up in in relationship to the forearms now let's go ahead and take him into the straight arm release let's go ahead and fast forward him here and what we're going to do is we're going to check that extremely crucial checkpoint if you guys remember the forward shoulder tilt video that came out we're at contact here if we draw a line through the shoulder sockets right here we're imagining this i'm imagining this pitch being probably out over the middle of the plate because he's got a good amount right here very very well done he did this very very consistently and then we got to go ahead into the straight arm release where we're going to go ahead and release everything fully really getting through that pitch and then all the way into the pro finish Let's go ahead and get him here into the pro finish. And you can see just some quick checkpoints from the pro finish section. Beautiful straight front leg, good flexion in the back leg, had great rotation on the back foot, made sure the hips got through there. And guys, a little bonus checkpoint here. Uh, if you guys are seeing this, he's getting into a very full finish. A lot of uh, the younger players out there are breaking down their swing very, very quickly and trying to run to first base. You can see getting into that full finish is going to allow us to get our maximum speed into the ball. So if you're breaking down early, make sure you're checking for this, making sure you're finishing your swing in the game. Now, for the two big things, if I had to pick two big things that you guys could take home to apply to your own swing that you can get out of David Ortiz's swing, things that we can learn, the first and the first and most important would be his hand positioning that we went over uh, in the about the vertical toe line, about getting our hands in front of that vertical toe line and keeping them in front of the, the vertical toe line. For you guys that, that don't know yet, that vertical toe line is simply a vertical line that we draw straight up out of the back toe, and we want to make sure that our hands stay in front of that vertical toe line at all times. And you can see again here from the uh, pitcher's view down the line that uh, if we go ahead and watch Big Poppy's hands, let's go ahead and take him through how how much he actually gets quite a bit in front of the vertical toe line. Not really necessary, but I mean, beautiful job if you're talking about wanting to be really consistent with your contact here. And you can see his hands never even think about going back behind that vertical toe line. They stay well in front. He, he gets beautiful lag and releases that beautifully into the ball. So if you're struggling with any kind of consistency, this is a huge thing you can take from Ortiz's swing. Get those hands in front, keep them in front, and this is something that will almost immediately help out your consistency. It might actually make you guys out there a little bit quicker than you're used to being, and you might actually be out in front a little bit, but that's a definitely a good problem to have. 
Now, the second big checkpoint that you can take home and, and apply to your own swing, this is, like I said, from the forward shoulder tilt video of how crucial this checkpoint is and how amazingly important it is when we're talking about not only being consistent, but being powerful, and not only powerful, but powerful to all fields. You can see here again, we'll draw that line through the shoulder socket. So if you guys are, are, are out hitting one day, go ahead and set your camera on face on so it's pointing directly at your center chest and pause yourself at, at contact. And what you're going to do is simply take a line and draw it right through both of your shoulder sockets. And if your line is tilted in towards the infield, so if the top of the line is tilted in towards the infield from the face on view, that's going to be called forward shoulder tilt. That is an excellent position to be in. Now, more like I said from the forward shoulder tilt video, more times than not, I'll see guys either at neutral shoulder tilt, that's where this line would be more straight up and down, and then really bad is when we start to get reverse shoulder tilt. That's when the top of the line is actually pointing the exact opposite way of forward shoulder tilt. Guys, this is an extremely crucial checkpoint. This is a little bit newer to baseball instruction. A lot of you guys might not have heard of this quite yet, but it's extremely crucial when you're talking about not only being, again, powerful, but consistent to all fields. So guys, power and consistency is the name of hitting. That's the name of the game when it comes to hitting. And you know those are the two big things that you can take from Big Poppy Swing, that you can get those hands in front of the vertical toe line, make sure that you're at forward shoulder tilt at contact, and you will have two extremely big, efficient pieces in your swing that's gonna take you another notch above all the other hitters out there. So we see how Big Poppy Swing matches up nearly perfectly with the Pro Speed hitting system and just more wonderful proof on how powerful this system is. Everything that you're seeing him do here and how powerful and efficient he's moving can be learned and it can be learned very efficiently as long as we are following the proper progressions and we know exactly what to look for. And these are the things that we go over in the Pro Speed Hitting System step by step laid out very nicely so that you can follow them straight along in a consistent progressive manner. Now for those of you joining us on YouTube, understanding the right positioning like we did here in David Ortiz's swing is only half the battle. The other big piece of the battle is how to actually put these pieces into use and get them into your own swing. If you head over to ProSpeedBaseball.com you can check out the link that's popping up now or in the description below. We have a whole breakdown step by step of the swing that you can see absolutely free of charge. You just click on the access free lessons now at the home page at ProSpeedBaseball.com and you can see the entire outline for the Pro Speed hitting system. And as an added bonus, we're gonna play you a preview of one of our all access lessons for our membership website at the end of this video. And if you wanna see that video in its entirety, go ahead and just click on the link that pops up in the video or again in the description below and you can see that entire premium video absolutely free of charge. It has a great drill in there that actually really does help with forward shoulder tilt and is a great drill to apply to your everyday practice, especially if you're having some trouble getting full extension for full speed in your swing. Thank you guys so much again for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this breakdown. And make sure to share and hit the thumbs up button if you liked the video. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can get notified first when we come out with new content. Good luck with your swings, guys. Good luck with your games. And we'll see you guys soon. These are all symptoms to improper sequencing in the swing and not getting the right amount of extension at the right time. Or where we want to make contact with the ball in relationship to where we want to be extended after contact. And that's the key one. We do want to be extended after contact. That, the, just before full release is when we're going to get maximum velocity on that object. So in a baseball swing, so if we go into contact and we make contact and then we have full release, then we're going to be maximizing our speed into the ball. So that all you have to do is set up the drill properly, make swings, and you're going to start syncing up your swing right away. And that's exactly what this drill is going to do. It's going to help us learn the proper motions to hit the ball correctly. So if I put a digital T here, where we'd want to make contact with the ball, ideally, when we're practicing off the tee or we're hitting in the game. We're gonna load stride here. You're gonna see me get into contact here. And then if I'm still swinging out to this ball in front of me, 